DNS is a tree-like data structure. That is, if we were to map out a whole bunch of domains, we would see a tree. And this is a computer science style tree with the root of the tree at the top and the branches down here at the bottom. So let's see what this looks like if we uh, draw in some domains. So we'll start with one that everyone knows about, like google.com. And we would draw that by putting com here at the top and then Google down below it. And of course, we know about a uh, domain name like www.google.com. And that just simply, the www part just goes right down here below Google. And we'll do some more like uh, www.yahoo.com. So Yahoo goes right down below com. And then www down below that. And of course, uh, the, these uh, domains don't have to be really uh, limited to just three levels. There can be more levels than just three. Like for example, within Google, there's actually, this is one of their mail servers. They've got, um, well actually this is called aspmx.l.google.com. And so the L goes down here below Google, and then down below that is ASPMX. So now we got one, two, three, four layers to this tree here. And of course, there's there's more at the top than just com. There's things like edu, so uh, school like UCSD.edu. That means there's an edu here, and UCSD below that. And then of course there's www in front of that. They've got a web server. Um, computer science department would you know would be cs.ucsd. So they go below that, and then there's a web server in that department too. So www there as well. And um, you know there's there's other ones like uh, the UK has got their own domain, and then there's co below that BBC www so this is of course www.bbc.co.uk um, you know there's, there's many many more that we can put in here uh, for example let's see UCSD I think they've got a mail server so we could put in mail um, Yahoo I think also has one right there and you know maybe the computer science department UCSD maybe they've also got a mail server so uh, one thing we can see in this in this tree here is that there are many places where the individual names might be repeated. Like, you know, this www here under Yahoo is obviously not the same as the www under Google, even though they have the same names, but there are different places in the tree. So the, the whole point of each one of these domain names is to uniquely identify a particular location within the tree. So for example, this bottom one here, www.bc. Uh, bbc.co.uk um, represents this exact point in the tree. No, it doesn't represent any other place in the tree. Now, this is not quite a tree yet because we need to connect all three of these together and form a root of the tree. And the root has a name. It's spelled with a dot, but it's pronounced root. So we say this is the root of the DNS hierarchy. And we go down to each one of the individual domains within that. Now, uh, let's look here and see where the domains are. And there's actually lots and lots of domains in here. So, for example, uh, here's a domain, obviously. You know, here's, here's Google and all of its stuff below it. This is the Google.com domain. So, Google, that word Google here identifies the top of its domain, but it's underneath com, which is underneath root. So this is the google.com domain, and here's the yahoo.com domain. Here's the ucsd.edu domain. And here's the bbc.co.uk domain. Now, within each one of these green circles, there can be other domains, like uh, right here. Here is the cs.ucsd.edu domain. And right here is the uh, l.google.com domain. And in fact, there are even smaller ones within that. 
Uh, for example, here, here is a small domain. This is the aspmx.l.google.com domain. Here is the mail.yahoo.com domain. And then finally, there's some, there's some really big domains here, like, like here's all of com. That, that's a huge domain. And of course, there's millions, probably even billions of things in there. Uh, here's all of edu. You know, here's all of UK. And then, you know, there's the, the, the really big one here, which is basically everything. So the entire domain hierarchy itself is one big domain uh, rooted up here at the top.